you. Sewer babe, you said you give me this month's allowance. If I find the book of Amunwa for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said it, that you give me my allowance. Now go work for it. And remind me why you're not working for it. I'm working for it too. Come on, Jeannie. You guys, I don't think it's such a good idea to work for the book of Boo Boo Gaga. It's not the book of Boo Boo Gaga, Jeannie. It's the book of Amunwa. I'm trying to find Cleopatra. Yeah, I agree with Jeannie. It's not a good idea. But I really do want that allowance money to get some Robux. I have some new outfit pieces that I want. I want to change my avatar. Okay, let's see. Um, what does this do? Okay, I guess I press this button and speak into it. <clears throat> Cleopatra, are you in there? Oh, no. Feral bro, you're not supposed to ask if Cleopatra's in there. Why did I even bother bringing you? I don't want to wake up any mummies or whatever. Uh, uh, oh, I wonder what this does. Well, anybody in there? <laughs> oh, oopsies. I see, I told you this was a bad idea, Jeannie. What? No, you didn't. Oh, uh, hey, Brooke. At least I found the door. Yo, oh, wonder what's in here. Quail Petra. Whoa, <laughs> he missed me. Gotta watch out for that snake. Whoa, whoa, wait, what's going on? I feel a rumbling. That must be my tummy. I'm hungry. No, no, there's something coming. Well, I think you got what you were asking for, Feral Babe. You called? Oh my goodness, Cleopatra! You look fierce. Um, can you give me the book of Amunwa, please? Um, okay, Feral Babe, you can pay up now. Uh, we'll talk about that window. Well, hello everyone! We are going to take a look at the lovely Cleopatra from the new OMG Fierce line. We have a brand new Fierce doll. We're going to take a closer look at her and see if she really is worth that $100. Yep, this doll is $99. And she's got extremely detailed jewelry. Let's turn her around. Ooh, look at her beautiful box. This is how it opens. It's got like a little Velcro strip up top here, all bejeweled out. Of course, the jewels are just paper. I love how shiny it is. Look at all the holographic prismatic papers they used on this. So when you open this up, her box opens like this, and you see beautiful artwork of her. 2022 Collector Edition. She really is that beautiful. Let's read up a little bit about our lovely queen. Most queens become legends years after their time, but Cleopatra was a legend during her reign. She was an icon of leadership and style, known for always making a statement and being fearless in the face of challenges. This golden queen inspires us with her brilliance, beauty, and incredible ability to surprise the world. Over 2,000 years later, we still celebrate Cleopatra as a symbol of what it truly means to be fierce. Her packaging is super pretty. You can definitely keep her in the box if you don't want to take her out. There's so much going on. But of course, we are going to be taking her out so she can join the rest of our fierce girls. So these pieces actually go all the way around. They connect right here by this little thing. Let's see how we can ooh, ooh, open this up without messing up the box too much. <gasps> I actually think that you can just take it out like this. Whoa, yeah, that makes everything so much easier so you don't have to ruin this beautiful box. And then down here we have some simple instructions about the hands, but we already know the hands are removable. You gently remove them so you don't break the little pegs. And a little MJ care sheet. So now it should be pretty easy to take her out. We just have to release the plastic from the back. Oh, well, her crown was removable. Ooh, I like how they gave her a clear doll stand and she's got a gold base. Whoa, let's not forget this big, beautiful train she has on the back. Super long golden skirt with tons of hieroglyphics on there. Ooh, nice, look at the background. This is the background they have on display for her in her listing on the website. I bought her on lolsprize.com. 
kind of my go-to place now to get stuff because they always have their stuff in stock when other places don't. And sometimes they have deals like buy two, get one free. Let's make it prettier. Remove the stuff we don't need. Oh, and now we can see that it's Cleopatra's throne. Look at those cool cat statues that she has on the sides. I really wish MGA would make a playset of her palace. I feel like it would look amazing. All right, so her crown, it does tie up in the back. It's almost like we have like phoenix wings on the sides, a heart with tons of jewels on the front. Ooh, it's kind of bendy. Now let's take a closer look at Cleopatra. She's got braids going throughout her hair and some of the braids are actually stuck to her arm. We don't need those there. Let's free them up. And you could either have the braids in the front or you can move them towards the back. She has a lot of tinsel in her hair. And I would say the color is a mixture of blue and black. Now let's take a look at her face. Her hair is a little messy. She does have box hair, but you can definitely fix it up by washing out some of the crunchiness in there and snipping some snags here and there. Here is her face. She has gold eyeshadow, black really defined eyebrows. They go all the way to the ends and join kind of with her eyeshadow and eyeliner. She's got glittery blue eyeliner on, green eyes. That's really different from her little sister, actually. Her little sister has purple eyes and Pharaoh bro has brown eyes now I don't know if they're trying to match her up to Pharaoh babe and have Cleopatra be a part of her family I kind of imagine that this was her older sister but now I'm not sure because the description says Cleopatra let's actually get her beautiful crown on that pulls everything together so nicely and I love the lip color they used for her it's kind of like a coral color. She's got really pretty blush on. And check out her jewelry. When they said the jewelry is extremely detailed, they were not kidding. So here are the earrings. We've got actual gold chains hanging off of the bottom of the earrings. The same winged design that is on her crown is on her earrings and she's got gems, just such pretty gems everywhere. Green, blue, red. Her other earring is exactly the same. This doll is full of details and they made sure to get all that in because she is a collector's edition doll. She's different from the other OMG Fierce dolls, even though they're detailed too. Here goes her necklace piece. She's got two. She's got rings on her neck and this really pretty flat necklace piece that goes with the coily necklace. Her outfit is made of chiffon material, gold trim. The top's kind of like a cloak. It's connected to her wrist through some gold thread and just details everywhere. I forgot about these little gold braid charms she has in her hair. She has them on each of the braids and here is her bracelet that also has chains attached to it. I don't know what this part is. Is this supposed to, oh, oh, it's from her upper sleeve. Yeah, that kind of fell down. Whoa, she's got chains everywhere. So here are the sides of her hip area. She has this really cool belt and chains on each side side. The belt is removable. Let's go ahead and remove that so we can take a closer look at what's underneath. So this piece right here is connected to her top, so it's not separate. Here is the top piece. It looks like this gold part is a waistband and then it goes into her skirt part and all of it velcros in the back. You can see right here. Oh, so this actually comes off and she has another piece. Is this connected to the top part? No, okay, so this part is separate from this part. Ooh, I like her skirt, looks really pretty on her. So we have some gold and it's a different shade of blue, so sparkly. I like her arm art, it's painted on there. Again with the wings and the red, blue, gold colors and we've got some aqua in there. Yeah, really pretty body art. And here are her nails. Let's take a closer look at her nails. What does she have going on there? She has gold nail polish. So the upper wrist cuffs keep falling off. They're supposed to stay up here so you can get that really cool chain effect. But if she has her arms up then they stay on there. Now, oh, whoa, she has another part of her doll stand. It's kind of stuck to her. 
Ah, okay. So this is like the regular OMG Collector's Edition dolls. They have the doll stand going up here instead of through the waist. And here is her beautiful leg brace. Of course, all bejeweled out because Cleopatra wouldn't have it any other way. And take a look at her shoes. They look like mummy wrapped shoes, all in gold. And these kind of remind me of snakes. Look at the back here. We have a little hieroglyphic on here. It looks like it's an eye. And same with that one. The heels look like pyramids. Let's check her out with this super huge piece here. So first of all, let's get her on her doll stand. It says OMG Fierce on here. And all you do is poke through right here. What? No, that's the wrong way. Right there. And this piece goes on it like that. Then you can get your doll on. I wonder if it goes the longer part in the back and the shorter part in the front. Probably how it's supposed to be. Let's do that. Yeah, there you go. She goes on there a lot better. Okay, so here is the waist piece we just took off. You just slip it on her waist. It doesn't have like a clasp or anything. And here was the skirt. Ooh, look at that. And it's actually embroidered. We have some stitching on here. Ooh, I wonder if any of these hieroglyphics actually mean something. We have a little palm tree here too. Let's check out the back. They added the blue trim onto here too. And this material, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, I would say vinyl? Has no stretch to it, but I love the detail on it. I wonder how you put it on her. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we have a little piece over here. I think this might go over her head. They don't give any instructions on that. Oh, I just saw online this goes on the back like this. So you could put it over her head, I think. She really wobbles on that doll stand though. Playing is this easier this way or is the head too big? Maybe we should go through her legs. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, who's to say you can't wear it on the waist? Looks cute there too. But let's go for the shoulders. Maneuver her hands. She's got so much going on. So much to get tangled in. <laughs> Maybe the easier route is going over her head, but it just seemed like this little elastic gold piece was gonna snap because her head is a little too big. Plus, I didn't want to mess up her hair more than it already is. Poor thing's already got box hair. So now we can hide it through her other stuff. I think I did it right. <laughs> Don't know. And then with this outfit of hers, she can also wear the belt so you can see it with the shorter skirt. Let's see, undergarments, what does she have? Is there anything painted on? Oh, she's got gold painted on underwear and that is it. So she doesn't come with a brush. Everything she comes with is on her. Oh, and look, on the upper arm cuffs, she has those bugs. If you've seen the movie Mummy, it's those, those shiny little black bugs. She has it everywhere. When they go into the mummy area, there's these little bugs. And they're not good bugs, they're scary bugs. She also has the same art on this other arm. Well, what do you guys think? She is a super pretty addition to the collector's edition version of the Fierce dolls, right? The only thing that I am not a super huge fan of is the doll stand. It's kind of wobbly and it doesn't really support her all that great. So she's just kind of hanging midair. But other than that, she is awesome. I love all the detail in the jewelry and her face definitely caught my eye and I wanted to add her to our OMG Fierce collection. Let's bring in the girls. We have Fierce Lady Diva. Royal Bee was definitely one of my favorite Fierce dolls. And of course, we have my other favorite, Neonlicious. Yep, oh, oh, make some room. We've got Swag Fierce. Okay, okay. Uh, now it's time to go home, Big Sister Cleopatra. I officially crown you my Big Sister. Oh, and I'm so sorry, but I can't give you the Book of Amun-Ra. I have it hidden someplace very special. No one else can know about it. What? <laughs> you still owe me your allowance, and I came here for no reason. Well, I guess I get to meet your really pretty big sister. Yeah, yeah, she is really pretty. Well, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing the Fierce Cleopatra with me. Have a super fun Thanksgiving and a fun break and good times with your family and happy holidays. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.